The recent North Bay Business Journal cover story is about Rohnert Park's new downtown that they're about to build, and it's located at the Smart Train Station in Rohnert Park. And really what they're doing is creating a downtown where none exists. They're creating this sense of place for Rohnert Park. And also I believe this project will act as an anchor for the entire Smart Train line. Smart in its first year had something like 700,000 riders. And what's exciting to me as a resident of Petaluma is to see how our Petaluma Smart Train stations fit into a regional fabric, fit into a long-term regional plan for transportation, tourism, housing, and jobs. In Petaluma, we have also have a very well-articulated vision for our downtown smart train station. We've got uh, the station area master plan, and especially for downtown, it's well-articulated illustrations and text that describe how the vicinity around our downtown smart train station might one day look. On the east side, the Corona Road station in Petaluma, that vision is not quite as well developed. And if you look at the Petaluma station area plan, it talks about how in the short term, the Corona Road smart stations will likely function as a suburban park and ride, which means there'll be a parking lot and people are going to drive from houses in the area and then jump on the train. However, in the long term, the Corona Road station may evolve to include transit-oriented development. And I think that this is a huge opportunity for Petaluma to not only encourage transit-oriented development and to encourage the use of the smart train on the east side, but also to create a sense of place that really doesn't exist on our east side of town right now. Recently, a developer came in and presented to the public a proposal for developing that property that's right at the smart train station on the east side. And that proposal was for a medium density development, which essentially was single family houses squished kind of close together. But the medium density single family houses each have two car parking. So it's really just another single family development on the east side that's going to encourage the use of more cars, which we don't want. I think we can agree we're going to need more housing in Petaluma, but we don't necessarily want to keep encouraging more cars. So in my opinion, at least, a higher density development on the east side would make a lot of sense. Let's support the smart train station on the east side. Let's encourage the use of the train and let's support affordable housing and transit-oriented development on the east side.